Hello again and welcome to Cup of Joe. As always, I'm your host, Jason McNeil, and today on the show, I want to discuss Rail Deck Park. Now, what Rail Deck Park is, uh, essentially now, it's, it's just an artist rendering. It's, it's an idea. It's something that some politicians would like to shoot for. Now, the reason I want to talk about it is because specifically John Tory, he seems really like behind it. He's like, really, we've got to get this done. Now, for those of you that don't know, Rail Deck Park essentially is sort of building a park over the, the rail lines. Uh, if you've ever been to Skydome, the, the CN rail lines, that, that whole thing over there, they want to build a, a giant park over that space. First thing is get the air rights. Second thing is build the park. Now, um, the idea of having green space in the middle of an urban center with 2.6, 2.7 million people, phenomenal, right? Like if you think in terms of global marketing and stuff like this, this is like, uh, you know, Central Park, I understand Atlanta's done something similar. So I'm all for it in terms of do I want my city to be a world-class city and have something that we can say is a luxury. Completely, it's just a luxury, right? It's just something we did because we could. Great idea. However, when I look at where the city is now, right, we, we have a huge backlog on uh, schools repairs, T, uh, Toronto District School Board. We have TCHC backlogs on repairs for, for government housing. We have transit that is not funded. We have, first of all, we have a transit plan from last election in, in, transit, in um, uh, Smart Track that we don't have funds for yet, right? It was supposed to be ready to go. It's not ready to go. We don't have any funding for it. We don't really have the plan yet. And already we're throwing out these new ideas. Hey, let's build this park, right? So here's the thing. Price tag, tentatively, right now, they say $1 billion. And I understand why people would get pissed about that. I'll be honest. I think that's a bargain. It's a steal. It's a steal, but we don't have that money, right? We got to fix the things that are backlogged and everything else before we do something like this. So quite frankly, what I think is it's something that, uh, you know, maybe we talk about in three, four years if the city's in shape. But right now, I'd have to say it's very irresponsible of, of John Tory, of, of any politician to be putting out this thing that clearly everyone should want, right? Everyone in Toronto should be like, yeah, I want to be that city that, that has something like that. But no, it's, it's not something that is needed. It's not a necessity. It's not something that we can afford to, you know, take it. If we found a billion dollars tomorrow, can anyone out there say we should build this park instead of fixing schools and fixing TCHC buildings and, and maybe, you know, making sure the transit is more reliable? Uh, I don't think so. So, you know, please let's not be talking about Rail Deck Park in the next election unless all of the other accounts are, are in far better shape. Um, again, that's my opinion. It's a nice thing to have. It would be awesome, but we don't have the money and we should stop talking about it. And we really should get our cards in order in the other categories because that's it's kind of shameful, right? To, to let schools and, and uh, government housing and stuff fall apart. We can't be doing that. First of all, I'd like everyone to start thinking that government housing belongs to us. It's not their problem when it's getting messed up. The people that live there, it's not their problem. It's our problem. We own it and it's deteriorating in value because we can't make it secure, make it uh, safe, make it, you know, clean. We, we can't do that. We have to do better. Um, and we have to do better before we build a park downtown. We have plenty of green space in Toronto, right? If you want to move to the suburbs, there's plenty of parks out here. If you want to live in the urban center, you know, you chose to live in the urban center. One day, maybe we'll get you like a nice, awesome park. But that's not what we should be talking about right now. That's my opinion. Jason McNeil, Cup of Joe Canada. As always, you can hit me on the website. It's cupofjoecanada.com. And you can always get me on Twitter at Cup of Joe Canada. Mm -hmm.